The morning hustle has begun in Josie. And in Mayfair, west of Johannesburg, Madina Omar is getting ready to start her business day. Business what time I'm open? Sometime half past five, six o'clock. And night time I close ten o'clock. In Soweto, south of Johannesburg, Justice Nkuma is doing the same. It's cut so busy. Kuba sexini from Meskateng Volang Haso half past six. Yeah, Guzem Shah half past seven. In Tambama from four to nine o'clock. Both of these businesses might play the same role in their communities, but there seems to be a lack of communications on how to do things better. And the chairperson of the Spaza and Tax Shop Association South Africa, Rose Ngosi, explains why. Our problem, again, was that a person who is one of our members, you know, when things go right and good for them, they don't tell the other. It becomes his own or her own thing that she's benefiting, but then, hey, I'm making so much. When I tell that person she will be better than me, and maybe she will be more, you know, then let me just keep it. What do you do? I problem. I problem. I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a Ngoma might be against the idea of skill sharing and development. But Umar is keen to share and develop her business skills. For some, if I know, I can tell you. If also you know something, you tell me. It's right like that. Yeah. Hello. A recent study done by the University of Johannesburg shows that more than half of the spaza shops situated in Soweto are owned by non-South Africans. Ngosi explains that building relationships with this community okay. has not been easy, but great strikes have been made. We had some structures whereby we said that you need to be with us, you need uh, to, I mean, to, to work with us, you need to, 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 to be registered uh, and be per, uh, having a permit in, in South Africa that allows you to be permitted to be in South Africa. Then number two, you need to register your spaza shops because we, as spaza shops of South Africa, we were told by the government that we need to comply. And we did that. We registered, we cleared your websites, everything was up to date. So you as well, and then, then we can then start working together. Then we can be able to buy in bulk together with you.